Hi, I'm Kirsten Mangers. I'm Managing Director of Chick Labs, and you're watching Eye on Business. This is Gustavo Chamorro, Director of the Digital Media Center, and you are watching Eye on Business. Welcome to Eye on Business Innovation, where we look at innovative companies, innovative people, and the innovative products that they produce. Today, we are very fortunate to have with us Janine and Marin. Welcome to the show, folks. Hi. So you have an unusual uh, app that you're developing. Tell us about that. Sure. Well, we're developing an app called SWIC, and okay. SWIC is an interactive mobile app that connects female founders with the crowd wisdom of peers experts and resources to help them launch and grow their businesses. And we okay. do that using on-demand smart technology. Okay. Now, what does SWIC stand for? Sharing your wisdom and your knowledge. Ah, okay. Sounds very impressive. So, now, what was the driver behind this? Because this isn't your average, you know, where's the local restaurant app here, so. Sure. Um, well, you know, SWIC came about, and this is actually my third startup, so okay. I've been in the entrepreneurial scene for about five years now. And as a female founder, I realized that, you know, it's not always easy as a woman pitching and finding mentors and, mm -hmm. um, you know, realizing that there, there is gender bias that exists in the entrepreneurial world. And so I had actually been thinking about starting this type of company for quite some time, not only for myself, but all of the other female founders that I've spoken with that have had similar problems. So in October of last year, uh, thanks to Marin's goading, she was like, we've <laughs> got to do this app. Let's, let's go for it and let's help female founders and let's help them break down some of those barriers. That it sounds like you've been thinking about this for a while. What, what, what got you thinking about it? Well, she originally came up with the idea about uh, two to, well, probably about three or four years ago. Um, because we're both women and as parents and entrepreneurs, um, you run into the same issues. And then we came across American Express Open uh, Women Able Report uh, in 20, 2015. And it shows that women, on, you know, they have 9 million businesses. They, ge they have 7.9 million employees. They generate 1.4 trillion in revenue and yet they can't grow their businesses past uh, the sole proprietorship stage. Um, they don't, usually don't start the high growth companies that can hire a lot of people. Okay. So we saw that there was a second glass ceiling, not only the first glass ceiling which dealt with um, pay quality and C-suite, getting women into the C-suite, but the second glass ceiling being that they can start the business but they can't grow or scale it. Um, and that is from a study from, uh, that we read from the University of Richmond. Okay. So What's your own belief about uh, what's causing the second glass ceiling? Um, you know, what's the real problem underlying that? I mean, plain and simple, gender bias exists. I mean, it, it stems from both men and women. Um, you'll see that, uh, a perfect example is there was a study done by Harvard Business School a few years ago, and they had both a man and a woman pitch the same exact company. They, on paper, they had the same exact credentials, but 68% of the judges chose the man to fund because they thought he would be more successful. Okay. I mean, that's just a perfect example of the type of like um, both subconscious and in some ways conscious gender biases that exist against women. Any other causes or any other well, things behind it? We found also that women lack the confidence and the connections. Okay. Confidence um, to start the business, to go after uh, starting a, a tech startup or high growth company or um, just getting past that, okay. you know, paycheck. Um, phobia, you know, having to have that paycheck. So, and also the connections. A lot of women have networks, 
but they don't have networks with financial uh, providers, gotcha. such as venture capitalists, or um, they're not part of an incubator or accelerator, so they don't know where to turn. So it sounds like with your app that, that you're positing that, that mentorship is a big component of the solution. Are there other components of the solution that you see besides that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, yes, you're right. I mean, a big part of helping women launch and grow is, is the mentorship and finding those guides who can actually answer those questions that you have. Um, but the other aspect is we're looking to work with partner organizations or groups that also offer various businesses, or sorry, various services and products okay. that are aimed towards helping female entrepreneurs. And that includes banks and angel groups, as well as, you know, larger companies like Experian that might have uh, targeted services and products towards these entrepreneurs. So what do women have to do when they have these tools available? So let's say they've got a mentor, they maybe now through you they've got a connection to the right financial organization. What do they have to do on their part? They, they have to, um, well the one thing about being set up in our, our system is that anybody can be uh, access our, okay. our app. Okay. A lot of times there are gatekeepers. Um, you have to pay to play to get in, or you have to know someone. Um, our app allows anybody from anywhere to be able to get access to the, this information. And then from there, they can um, help get help with business plans. They can help yeah. with uh, basically fill all the gaps in their skill set, um, as well as be a mentor and a mentee. They can also reach out and help other people um, in areas that they're experts in. Now, are there any personal stories you have that have worked for you that might uh, illustrate some of the principles you've described? Um, well, I mean, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be part of Launch Labs, and I think, you know, already we've, we're benefiting greatly from the mentorships that were being provided there, um, also, you know, both from you and from a lot of other folks that are affiliated with the, with the center. Um, but we realize that not all women have access to those types of networks, sort of like what Marin was saying already. And so if we're able to sort of bridge that gap and allow uh, women to build sort of their virtual advisory council of, okay. in that circle of knowledge that they may be missing in their own professional background, you know, that's, we've already won. Because helping one woman at a time, we really do, do strongly believe that it creates a domino effect. Helping one woman not only helps her and her business, but also helps subsequent women and, and also families and society as a whole. Okay. Okay. So, any other stories about you know what influence do along the way that's made a difference here that might be illustrative for our audience? Or? Well, both uh, Janine and I are are parents, um, okay. and okay. as you know, a lot of times we're torn between our you know, caring for our children, aging parents, mm -hmm. um, and working uh, both full time and part time. So, entrepreneurship gives women the opportunity to have the flexibility and independence. Um, and work-life balance. Okay. Uh, but the problem is, is once they start it, they need to be able to grow it. And so that's why we wanted uh, to develop SWIC, to give everyone that opportunity, not only to start their business and enjoy the entrepreneurship of having that flexibility, but also being able to make it into something where they can in turn help others and employ others. Okay. So we've got a, a pretty good-sized audience out here. Um, what advice would you give, you know, let's say the woman that's trying to decide whether or not to even go into entrepreneurship, that sort of first step, uh, what would you tell them? Well, once SWIC launches, I would say jump on there and ask some <laughs> questions. <laughs> right. Sounds good. But before, but before that, I mean, I think really um, when it comes down to it, entrepreneurship, it, 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 it's a marathon. It really is, it isn't a sprint, although okay. it can feel like a sprint sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think when you're making that decision to launch a new company, A, I think you really have to look at the long run. Okay. Am I able to do okay. this full time? Can I work on it part time while I'm okay. still working? Am I actually really passionate about it? Because it, it is kind of like a roller coaster. Yeah. There are days where everything clicks and everything's working and you're like, yes, I've got this. And then the next day, you know, a large client pulls out or something happens yeah. and you're like, I suck. <laughs> so you have to be able to ride that emotional roller coaster and be prepared because it, it will, it, you know, you don't immediately start a company and it's successful. It, it really is a very long road. Okay. What about you, Marie? Any other advice or lessons learned from your own history? Or? Well, I mean, it is, I mean, even if it could be 80 hour days, it's around your schedule. Okay. Um, you're able to work and be able to pick up your kids, go be the room mom. Uh, for your parents, but still, you know, you have that, it's fulfilling in that sense because you can make an income, you can um, help others, and also help your family. So it's been, okay. it's been really good for us. So what's the next step for SWIC? 
Our next step is to, uh, to launch. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're, we're in development. We're hoping to have something out within the next couple months. Okay, and so if people wanted to contact you or use this app, how would they do that? Uh, they can find us at swickapp.com. Okay, and you better swell. Spell it out. Spell Swick. <laughs> Swick, S W Y K A P P dot com. All right. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. I look forward to, to the app coming out. Great. Thank you so much for thank having you. us. Thank, thank you. you so much. You have been watching Eye on Business Innovation.